One of the beauties of software, and also one of its curses, is that it's always updating. On the positive side of things, things are being improved all the time when it comes to software and when it comes to Salesforce as well. But that also means that there's always something to do or improve on the platform. And how you can do that in your Salesforce instance is to check out the release updates. These are different release updates that Salesforce provides, and you can see what needs to be done in your own Salesforce org in order to improve or address things that are potentially out of date. And so under release updates, you will find it needs action section, do soon, overdue, and then as well archived. And so in the order of importance, I would say that you would wanna address anything that is overdue. And you'll notice here in my own instance, I've got several things here that are overdue. I've left this org alone for quite some time, probably about a year, and I've recently re-logged into this particular org because it has my logo in it and I like it, but there are, are a lot of things I need to address to get this up to date, all right? So to get started, you want to click the Get Started button on any of these items that are listed here. This one or any of these actually, before you necessarily get started, you may want to view the details so that you understand the specifics of the issue that you're trying to address in order to get up to date inside of your own Salesforce instance. So I'm gonna view details and I'll give you details around who's affected by these changes. And here we've got some notes on that. How is my org affected and how does this impact you? And I love this here. This is some brevity from the Salesforce technical writing team. How does it impact you? Well, complete the step-by-step -step instructions and recommendations to assess the impact of your org. So basically just do it and you'll find out, all right? I'm being a little facetious here. It's kind of funny though. All right, so let's get started. This is the first step and it does take you through the who's affected, et cetera, et cetera. And then down below, understand and minimize the impact of these changes with our step-by-step -step guide. And this will vary depending on what is being updated in your org. So I'm gonna review impact on self-registration. And the idea in the real world would be you to assess the workspace for each site that uses self-registration, select administration, login registration. Make sure your self-registration flow is assigned users to a clone profile, not a standard profile. So when you boil this down, they're not wanting standard profiles in Salesforce to have that sort of setting. So I'm gonna mark that as complete, pretending that I've done that. And then you just complete each of the steps, reading, completing, rather than just blowing through this, you would want to make sure that these things are indeed complete and then click done and select that you've read the contents of the security alert, you've completed them and you've assessed the impact of the alert on your org and confirm. And so then that one is considered done and would move over then uh, instead of being overdue, it would be one that is now completed, all right? So I can go back into release updates, and you see under archived ones that have been completed, and this is the one that I just completed. So under archived are things that have been done in the past. So I have done a few things here. And so then you can just go through and address the other items in your list. And what's helpful as well is if there's anything upcoming, you can start to get ahead of that inside of your environment. And typically you will perform these release updates inside of a sandbox environment because oftentimes those will be one release cycle ahead of your production environment so that you can weigh the impact of those updates and those changes and then go and do likewise in production once the time comes as well. And then here in the needs action section, you see that there's some things that are due in the future. I am in January of 2022 and this is due by May 10th. Enforcement schedule for the summer 22 release. You can get more details by hovering over the informational icons here. Once again, you can view details of any of these updates by clicking view details and then just clicking get started to get started. And so if you found the Salesforce video helpful, please do like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn in Salesforce. And I just might make it my next video. Until then, I'll see you in the cloud.